morning good afternoon good evening how are you doing i hope you're doing fantastic i'm doing great it's teshua jogona here in teshua jogona vlogs and i'm so happy to be here again guys thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos you have shown me a lot and a lot of support and i do not take you for granted shout out there shout out to boke thank you so much you're one in a million for supporting my content in a different way thank you so much thank you so much for everyone out there that is supporting my content by liking sharing commenting you know there's some people that I know like if I don't see their comment I'm like where are they what's up what's up with them because we have become a family you know we have become a family anyway guys today what we are going to talk about we are going I've been receiving questions about you know about the the book the boost yeah because we've been talking about the carers visa yeah? that the government of UK have boosted they have come to uh, they have boost uh, the big boost so that we can get more carers from all over the world so i've been receiving uh, emails messages instagram and people are asking what is the difference because when i'm looking for these jobs i'm looking i'm like this is a senior carers job and then i can see a carers job and then i can see health and care assistant what is all this what is the difference what is the difference you know what guys sit relax because it's your girl here teshua jogona breaking it down for you so that you can understand so as usual kama kawaida i'm here to make your move your your move your preparation to the uk to be as simple as it can be to be as easy as it can be so this is what it is yeah what is sorry what is a carer a carer is a person that supports people vulnerable people to in their daily activities yeah to make them comfortable so in uk when you are a carer you work in residential homes you work in nursing homes and when i say residential that's when you where you will find patients people living with dementia yeah that's where you'll find if it's nursing home you'll find people with chronic diseases keep this in mind a high population of uk is old yeah so the people that you'll find there they will not like be like young yeah so it's people that have enjoyed their life they have lived their life and probably because of old age they they have dementia and the they, and their old age has come with all its package so they also have some other chronic diseases diabetes and so on and so forth so those people because it's not about a uh, um, it's not about getting them better you know how it is like i'm i'm poorly or i'm sick then i go to hospital i'm admitted because it's expected of me to get better and stand up so for them it's old age and it's package so what they need is to be taken care of is to be supported so that they the life they have left they can live it to their maximum yeah so that's where you care come in so you will work there as a carer looking after them you might find your inner floor or you are or, or where you are put you're probably two people looking after 10 people something like that you that's caring that's a care job yeah if you are a senior carer a senior carer in most homes remember when i say homes i mean instead of calling it a uh, the full name nursing home residential home so we uh, uh, we just call it a home yeah we just call it a home so as a senior carer what do you do just as the name suggests you will be working and probably uh, not probably you have more responsibilities than a carer yeah so if you might be able to support the carer maybe you're short of staff you will still go on the floor and help them to take care of the of the of the of the residents we call them residents the people you are looking after they are called residents yeah you will see the difference so if it's in a care home we call them residents mostly if you're looking after them in their own home you call them clients 
Yeah, are we together? So, as a senior carer, you are also you also have like medication uh, competency, so you administer medications. Just a carer, you cannot administer medication. But as a senior carer, it's your responsibility to administer medication. Make sure that their care plans are up to date and making sure that when you're on the floor, it is run as expected. Yeah, are we together? So, meaning, carer, you there to support your job is to support the residents like with breakfast personal care some of them you just need to go in their room and have a little chat of what you know what, just a little chat yeah what they used to do and so on and so forth because sometimes it can be lonely yeah remember it's probably two of you taking care of 10 patients all you're thinking is that how you're going to get the patient uh, the residents up yeah, and going for the day, uh, supporting others because some of them have to be supported, even uh, eating. Yeah, assisted eat, assisted to eat. So there's a lot of things going on. Okay. So that means that's your job, but you have a senior carer, and then on top of a senior carer, you have the home manager. Yeah, the home manager will or the the home manager will be like in charge of the whole home yeah so like i said a floor might have 10 people or 15 but you might find if it has a couple of floors then the whole home has up to 40 residents or 50 residents so you have a manager that is in charge of the whole home so the reason why i'm doing this is to give you a breakdown or an understanding when you are applying for a job what you are applying and also the higher you go on your application, the higher they will need more qualifications. Are we together? Okay, so I have explained that. So the next one, uh, the next one is who is a health care assistant? A health care assistant is just a carer. The only difference is when you are in the UK, the health care assistant are the carers that work in hospitals. Yeah, so you see the difference. You are a carer because you're working in residential homes, the elderly homes, the nursing homes. But in hospital, you are called a healthcare assistant. So if you're looking at applying as a carer and you see a healthcare assistant job, it is one and the same thing. Yeah, mostly where you will find healthcare assistant job is through a website, a website called NHS. NHS, which is the National Health Service of the UK, yeah? That is where you will find, because National Health Service, because it involves, it's, you know, all the hospital in the UK, yeah? They are under that NHS, which is run by the government, yeah? So you are called healthcare assistant. Your job will not be very different from what carers are doing. The only difference is because you are in a hospital setting and where you are not only looking, you are looking at real patients that need attention there and then. So you might find that you are working under a nurse. Yeah. So in hospital, you are working under a nurse, doctors and everyone else. But in the health, in the, uh, in the, nursing in the nursing home or residential home or elderly home you are working under your senior care leader or your home manager yeah when you see domiciliary worker or home care those are the people that work at so if you see home care you are working in that client's home yeah you're working in that client's home so Depending on where you applied, no, usually what happens, if you are still able to stay at home or your family is able to cater for, is able to afford your care or you are able to afford your care. So what happens, some people decide as much as they're elderly, as much as they have some chronic diseases, they opt to stay at home rather than going into a nursing home or elderly home. So what they do is they find staff, staff or members of st staff or 
sorry about that. These girls are distracting me. I can see my children just walking up and down. So that's why I'm like, yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. So they they get they they get support from agencies. Yeah. So they apply for that package. It's called a package, and they say, I would love to have someone work in my house during the day from seven in the morning to 10 at night or at till nine. And then they will also bring in someone who will come to take over from the day one to sleep. And then the other one will just come be there for the night and then they go. Yeah. So that is home care. That, that is, um, it can be, it, uh, it can be a uh, home care issue. Yeah? So there are people that are looked after in the home. Another thing, which is also very, when it's domiciliary, domiciliary is when you are employed, but you are going to people's houses, giving them care. So you are employed that it's important to know in domiciliary care, you have to be driving or oh, it's very important you're driving because remember you are given a list of the people that you're going to that day and then uh, and all their needs. You have all their needs. So maybe by seven, you're supposed to be in Margaret's room uh, Margaret's house you go Margaret need her breakfast that time and you get her ready for the day and Margaret is paying for one hour so you go do that for Margaret and by the time it's 8 8 30 you're supposed to be in John's house John's John has an appointment with um with the doctor so he needs to be ready by a particular time and that and the taxi or transport is coming to get to get John and then there are someone else you you're supposed to be there at 9 30 and you need to make their breakfast get them ready for the day you will go for short visits some of them just need medication and that's it yeah so you will see you some of them are bed bound so all they needed is medication and just to make sure that they are not they are not a uh, their bed is not saturating they are dry and so on and so forth so that is a uh, it's domiciliary care so you drive to the page you drive to the people you check what their care plan says and that's what you do so there are all those things that there are those, all those type of people but what you need to know just know the difference of the home manager the senior carer yeah the rest the jobs are the same and the and the uh what they need the the what they need is more or less the same yeah but if you are applying to like lead a home or you are applying for senior carer then they will need more a bit of more qualification and experience from you because remember it's a very vulnerable situation or environment you're working with the reason why these people need support is because they're vulnerable so you are there to safeguard them and ensure of their safety yeah so you must be in a position that you know what you're doing and that's why more or more is will be will be expected of you if you are expecting or you are applying for a higher position none is none is bad or none matters because even home managers the one that has have degrees in social care and social health care blah 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 they still come to the floor and help with something as simple as changing a pad yeah because that is what you're called for that is what your job takes your job it doesn't matter if you have a degree in that thing or you're the home manager your job is to make sure that person is safe that person is feeling safe that person is not at any risk like if they, they are they are falling they're not at risk of falling they're not at at risk of being uh, abused they're not at risk of hurting themselves or others that is what is your job your job is to make sure that they they if they're incontinent then they are dry they are not uh covered with feces and urine you know your job is to make that make sure they look presentable yeah not because they they um they can't a uh, you know that's ha hand and eye coordination because with old age and some chronic decision it becomes almost impossible to balance the spoon from the plate to the mouth so you will find that those people most of the time you'll have to change a couple of times and that is what is your job and that what is your calling so it doesn't matter if you're a senior carer of course money will differ 
yeah how much you are paid between a senior carer and a carer will definitely differ yeah but that is your job so you might be in the office if i'm a carer come in we are short of stuff and i'm like bed 19 is a double and i cannot do it alone you will have to come and assist me yeah you'll come to come and assist me because at the end of the day the goal is the same making sure everybody is okay so guys my people i thought i felt it's necessary i come and try and break it down a little bit i hope it makes sense i hope it will be beneficial to you to just understand what all these names are as you prepare to come to the uk as carers as senior carers as whatever the case is then that is what it means until next time please stay safe yeah stay safe and be kind be very kind to people i love you all